This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Amrely Waller on today's global toxic air pollution in India and Pakistan. New emergency measures in Delhi, coal fired power stations are shut down, construction work suspended, schools and colleges closed indefinitely. This is the suffocating smog in Lahore, named today as the most polluted city in the world. We hear what it's like living in all of this. So is this year's winter pollution worse than before? Are the measures being brought in likely to work? Also in the programme, the former Yorkshire cricketer Azim Rafiq tells the BBC he hopes his evidence to MPs about racism will act as a wake-up call. I'm very determined um, that this is going to be looked back as at the moment where not only sport but um, society as a whole uh, went in a different direction to what it's been going. Are these men the world's biggest computer criminals? We find out how cybercrimes most wanted are living freely in Russia. And I'm Laura Trevelin in Mexico City, where ahead of the first North American Leaders Summit in five years, I'm examining the continent's growing migrant crisis. We travel with the thousands of migrants making their way north through Central America to try to reach the United States. Welcome to today's Global India's authorities have announced a series of emergency measures to tackle the extreme levels of pollution in the capital, Delhi. Schools and colleges have been shut indefinitely. Most construction work has been banned till next week. Only five of the coal-fired power stations in the city are being allowed to operate. A toxic haze has smothered Delhi in recent days. Traffic fumes, industrial emissions, stubble burning and the Diwali fireworks all contributing to the hazardous smog. Well, in neighbouring Pakistan, the city of Lahore was declared the most polluted city in the world today by a Swiss air quality monitoring group. We'll have more on that in just a moment. First, though, here's Azadeh Mashiri with the latest on India. <laughs> 